Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome to our little slice of life here in Germany. So if you've been following us, you know, we've started renovation about a year ago and it's been a lot of stops and starts because we've been busy with doing firewood and cutting hay and all kinds of stuff like that. While the weather is nice, we have to be doing that. I spent the day, yes, it was just, it killed me the whole day out on the other side of this wall, digging, digging out the ditch and the sewer pipes and everything because we're gonna make a connection through this floor. The plumber's coming tomorrow. Let me show you what that looked like. All right, y'all, so it is a beautiful day. And we're gonna go out the front here. And we got work to do, and I've been putting it off. So we have some digging to do here. We gotta get all along here, and the big thing is on this end. So Right there where you can see some of the sand. We gotta find some sewer pipes. It ain't gonna be easy. It's gonna be a long day. But yeah, I've been dreading this. And we're gonna waterproof the front here a little bit too, I think, in the process. So let's get digging. All right, y'all. Yeah, this is uh, nah, pretty hard work. We have made it down to where we need to be. Well, down to the pipes. So let me show you. So this is where the old sewer line is coming out of the house. That is the new one that goes up there to the party room. And about Three-ish years ago, maybe four, um, we made a repair out here because the pipe right here had settled open. Basically, the pipe settled down and it turned and opened up. So that's what all of this right here, that's what all of this is about. So this comes down and it actually hits underneath there and then it all goes as one and meets up with the original sewer pipe from, oh gosh, the 40s probably. I don't know. 
your guess is as good as mine, but you can see here where the it's plastic pipe and then it turns into clay pipe right there. So I'm almost down to the level I need to be. I need to go a little bit farther to expose the hole outside of the pipes because all of this, all of this mess is going away. We're putting in a new drop coming from the house right in this location and we'll tie it in nice and clean with the one that goes here and up to the shaft up there. As well as add drainage for the new stairway we're putting in for the other entrance at that end of the house. But I've been at this for hours and when I got to the sand, I'm like, okay, good. Um, the problem is the sand didn't go all the way to where I needed it to that way, you know, going that, going this way. And you can see it's, it's deep, it's deep, deep. So this right here was ground level and I had to dig by hand from about here down. Not easy. The kicker is it's going to rain this week. So it's unfortunate. But I already got water in the basement from one of these lines right here leaking. I'm having a feeling it's right, right at that junction where the plastic, the PVC pipe meets the the stone pipe. I'm willing to bet that's where I have a leak. Um, the fortunate thing is it's being filtered by all this sand before it leaches through the very bottom of the basement wall. Uh, with that said, hopefully we'll get this all sealed up. Basement will be bone dry. I'm tired, folks. I've been going for about two and a half hours. And, uh, yeah, I got a lot more to go. Rachel's out back. She's doing the primer on the wall inside the greenhouse, getting ready for paint. And, uh, yeah, so she's got that going on. Which leaves me out here alone to do this. But a little hard work never killed anybody. Right? Right?
All right, I think that's going to do it for the day. The GoPro died, and now I'm on the phone. So let me show you what I got going on here. So here's the pipe. Oh, we'll start with this one. This was the pipe from the new room. This is the old pipe that we had that disconnected itself from that clay pipe right there. So what they did was they adapted it down and to the clay pipe. So we have this run that comes from over here in this shaft. Basically goes straight through the wall, makes a 90. There's a clean out here, and then it goes straight down to there. So I need to make a drain from that doorway because we're going to put, you know, this the cement, you know, entryway. And we'll put a drain in the middle. Now I'm debating whether I can shoot that drain across here and put a T in here instead of a 90. Or come in this ditch that I dug along here and then join it up all down there. I think that's enough craziness. And I really think a T in this location is what's going to work. I don't know. I'll give it thought. I still have to dig out the drain and all that on this end and square this up. So on this end, there's the door. You can see we're below the door. I got to get a nice square drain in the middle and then the drain will go that way. Because it is up from the roadway. Or I should say the roadway is up from there. And we'll have water coming down in and I don't want the water going in that door. I want it going down and away so that'll wrap it up for this one uh yeah i'm tired it's it's already after five i've been going here most of the day i mean this hole is deep like that ledge is above my shoulder when i'm standing in there so yep we'll uh wrap this day up all right y'all so as you saw that was a ton of work so if you're still here you got to click that like you got to click that subscribe helps us get closer to our goals and it's absolutely free so man that was a lot of work but we're ready for tomorrow he's going to be here tomorrow we're going to start making these connections and getting this getting this renovation rolling but you know my motto. If you're thinking about family, if you're thinking about friends, give them that what's up or that what's that. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, auf Wiedersehen.